We welcome you inside the MGM Grand Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada for the special Friday Night Smackdown All-Star Kickoff. Tonight, four men enter the ring, but only one will leave the new World Heavyweight Champion. Welcome to Las Vegas, everybody, and welcome to the All-Star Kickoff. And yes, later tonight, in your main event, it is the four-man elimination matchup. World Heavyweight Championship Finale. Drew McIntyre, Bobby Roode, Seth Rollins, and John Cena. Last man standing is leaving Las Vegas, the luckiest man alive, as the World Heavyweight Champion. Also to come tonight, a grudge match weeks in the making. The Prince Finn Balor set to settle the score with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. These two men set the lock horns once again later tonight. And we are also going to crown the brand new United States Champion and Eight Man Over the Top Rope Battle Royal. A championship that has been held by so many greats over the years. A new holder will be found tonight in Las Vegas at the All-Star Kickoff. And we kick things off tonight with the Cruiserweight Championship of the World on the line. Originally, the Hurricane was supposed to be here receiving a championship opportunity, but unfortunately due to injury, Hurricane Helms not able to compete tonight. Ricochet issued an open challenge over the week that was answered by NXT's Tyler Bate, a man who was the first ever WWE United Kingdom Champion back in 2017, held that gold for 125 days. Now Tyler Bate making his debut on the main roster tonight, a part of Friday Night SmackDown, and a gold and opportunity awaits. A championship that Tyler Bate has competed for in the past. Is he about to leave Las Vegas, the new Cruiserweight Champion? As we mentioned, he was the inaugural WWE NXT United Kingdom Champion for 125 days in 2017. We are also looking at a former NXT Tag Team Champion. So this young man knows what it's like to hold the gold. Now a part of Friday Night SmackDown, is he about to add some new hardware to that history-making list? We're going to find out in moments, but of course Tyler Bate, no easy task ahead. A man who has held the Cruiserweight Championship for 166 days since SummerSlam back on June 26th of this year. And here we go, the human highlight reel of Friday Night Smackdown. The one, the only, cruiserweight champion of the world, Ricochet arrives at the MGM Grand Arena. Throughout this historic making reign for Ricochet as the cruiserweight champion, he dethroned Santos Escobar back at SummerSlam, retained it in an epic ladder match against Santos Escobar back at Extreme Rules of this year. He also owns championship defenses over Chad Gable, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Wesley, and Roderick Strong most recently at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Don't forget last week here on SmackDown, Ricochet was in action against Cameron Grimes, and Ricochet pulled out the win on that night as well. The one and only has been damn near untouchable for the last six months in the WWE, but is tonight gonna be the night that somebody finally knocks Ricochet off his pedestal? The prestigious Cruiserweight Championship is on the line, a championship that was once defended in this very building back in 1997 between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. More lineage gonna be adding on to that history championship tonight. Let's send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds. And introducing the champion from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Ricochet. 
Well, here we go with your first matchup of the evening. It is a live premiere special pay-per-view-like edition of SmackDown tonight. The Friday Night SmackDown All-Star Kickoff, December the 9th, 2022. MGM Grand Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. WWE is in the house, and the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Here we go, Tyler Bate, the new number one contender, challenging the one and only Ricochet, and we are underway on what is going to be an historic night on Friday Night SmackDown history. And Tyler Bate again filling in for the Hurricane tonight. The original number one contender, unfortunately not able to compete due to injury. Ricochet issued an open challenge that was accepted by NXT's Tyler Bate. Of course, that open challenge went out to any cruiserweight in the WWE. And Tyler Bate was the first man to sign the contract, step up from NXT, and is looking to dethrone Ricochet on his first none of the main roster. What a win it would be for Tyler Bate. As we mentioned, a former NXT United Kingdom champion, the inaugural one at that, and a former NXT tag team champion. So Tyler Bate knows what it's like to hold gold here in the WWE. And what a night it could be for Tyler Bate if he could dethrone Ricochet on night one here on SmackDown. Bates looking good since the opening bell. Ricochet really hasn't found an answer. Tyler Bate brings a very interesting style as he whips Ricochet over the top rope there. Tyler Bates got a very interesting style of being a technical wrestler inside of that ring, mixed with a little bit of brawling, mixed with a little bit of high flying. Tyler Bates really a full package of antics inside of that ring. He drops Ricochet here on the outside of the ring and the beatdown commences. This is what I mean, a little bit of that brawling here of a former member of British Strong Style. He whips Ricochet to the steel steps. Tyler Bate knows the opportunity that is at stake here. He knows, the, he knows that Ricochet is a crowd favorite here on Friday Night SmackDown, but Tyler Bate's in for himself tonight on the top rope, looking to go high risk. Ricochet's days on the outside of the ring. Here comes Bate with the ax hammer. Again, showcasing that full tool on his belt. High flying to the outside, now wrenching it in on the one and only on the outside of the ring. Can't win the championship out there as we know, but certainly can add a little bit more damage than usual. Ricochet's got to start fighting back here. This has been all Tyler Bate since the opening bell. We talked about how successful Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship reign has been 166 days since winning the gold back at SummerSlam. And it's because of maneuvers like that. Nobody goes high risk like the human highlight reel himself, the one and only Ricochet. This is why Ricochet has been atop the Cruiserweight division for almost six months here in the WWE. Tyler Bate contemplating his next move as the one and only is awaiting his arrival inside of the ring. Ricochet trying to outmatch Tyler Bate on the collar and elbow there. Bate blocking whatever the one and only had in mind and that's some United Kingdom brawling tactics out of Tyler Bate if I ever saw one. There's Ricochet with the counter, goes behind, able to pick up Tyler Bate for the German. I'm gonna make a wise guess here and say that Ricochet is the stronger of the two competitors, I do believe. You can't count out Tyler Bate. Ricochet's obviously his greatest asset is his high flying ability and maneuvers like this. Moonsault into the German, into the bridge. Impressive from the Cruiserweight Champion. Ricochet most recently defended the gold back at Survivor Series on Thanksgiving night. My goodness, springboard again. Defended the gold against Roderick Strong. And again, just last week here on Friday Night SmackDown, Ricochet defeating Cameron Grimes inside of the ring. So Ricochet continuing to ride a high throughout this Cruiserweight Championship reign as he's eyeing up Tyler Bate on the outside of the ring. The number one contender all days, corkscrew by the one and only. The Cruiserweight Champion's got his mojo back in this matchup. Tyler Bate was really in control after the opening bell, but Ricochet has taken over in your opening contest tonight on the Friday Night SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. And again, Ricochet goes for the Topekin Hilo, but Tyler Bate, I believe, ducked out of it. Ricochet luckily didn't land too disastrously, but Tyler Bate sending the Cruiserweight Champion into the steel steps again. That is why they call it high risk, ladies and gentlemen. Ricochet damn near crashing and burning, but Tyler Bate making sure he feels the pain off that miss. 
Momentum can shift in a matter of moments here in the WWE. And now Tyler Bates sending Ricochet right into the hardest part of the ring and just unloading on the champion here on the outside of the ring. Las Vegas, Nevada, in all of what they're witnessing right now, Ricochet may have meant his match tonight. A man who has knocked down every challenge in his way has really been on the losing end of this matchup thus far against Tyler Bate, if we had to call it. Tyler Bate heading back into the ring, now breaking the count. Might be smart for Ricochet to get inside the ring. There you go, Cruiserweight Champion trying to get a distance from the challenger right now. Unloading on Bate. Went for the drop kick there, but another counter by the challenger. And now Tyler Bate into the cover. Is he the new Cruiserweight Champion? Not just yet. Now Bate dropping the bare elbow right on Ricochet. And now this is Tyler Bate going to the top rope. We talked about how he's got a full... Oh no, where did Ricochet with the counter? Taking Tyler Bate out for whatever Bate had in mind from the top rope. All the assets that Tyler Bate has, Ricochet trying to avoid them. Ricochet you re really utilizing his strength advantage there over Tyler Bate. Took him off of the corner and then that power slam off the top rope moments ago. Is Ricochet changing up his offense to try to outwork Tyler Bate here tonight? Nice kick by Ricochet. Well, look at this. Talk about showcasing the strength that's got Tyler Bate up on his shoulders and a sit-out powerbomb from the Cruiserweight Champion. Ricochet is digging deep in his bag of tricks to try to dethrone. Oh, wait a minute, shooting star press! Into the cover! No, Tyler Bates survives for another moment, but Ricochet, the sit-out powerbomb, then goes to the top rope with the shooting star press, like only he can do. And now the Cruiserweight Champion hitting the ropes, hits him the second time, standing moonsault. Back into the cover on the challenger. But Tyler Bate, a one count. A one count off of that offense from Ricochet. And the Cruiserweight Champion's got to start to be thinking, what the hell do I got to do to put Tyler Bate away tonight? Look at that maneuver. Into the pinfall again. And Bate survives again in this matchup. Ricochet has really thrown a little bit of everything so far on Tyler Bate. He's gone high risk. He's used his strength as we saw. But Tyler Bate still survives. I think we are witnessing Ricochet's toughest challenge right now in his Cruiserweight Championship reign. Close line to the outside. Down goes the champion. Oh, wait a minute. What's Tyler Bate got in mind? Looking to make a name for himself in his first night on Friday Night SmackDown. Suicide dive for the challenger. Tyler Bate is all over the champion. Moots on the outside of the ring. And the crowd here in Las Vegas tonight showing their appreciation for these two competitors. Bates and a ricochet into the ring apron again in this matchup. Now continuing the offense on the outside of the ring. My goodness, down goes the champion. A brutal contest for the Cruiserweight champion, no doubt meeting his toughest opponent tonight in Tyler Bate. But will Ricochet be able to survive, or are we going to see a new champion? As the fight continues on the outskirts of the ring as Ricochet sends Tyler Bate, Bate up into the steel ramp. Ricochet's got to change up his strategy here. He's used his strength. He's obviously went high risk multiple times in this matchup, and none of it has worked just yet on Tyler Bate. Ricochet back into the ring, but Tyler Bate there to cut him off. Got him in the fireman's carry position. Oh, no. Going to make the Cruiserweight Champion a little bit dizzy here in Las Vegas, and it's not because the drinks are flowing. Tyler Bate's feet are moving a mile a minute. And the Cruiserweight Champion's down to the challenger. Man, knocked his own lights out. Ricochet is down and out. Tyler Bate is heading to the top rope. Bate could be about to be the Cruiserweight Champion here. Corkscrew by Tyler Bate. That is it. That is going to do it. Tyler Bate in the cover. No, Ricochet gets the shoulder up. What a matchup we got 
for the Cruiserweight Champion here tonight on the Friday Night SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. Tyler Bate with that corkscrew, not enough to keep the Master of the Sky down just yet. The human highlight reel is still got a little bit of fight left in him. Now Tyler Bates got Ricochet. Oh my goodness, we're going for another ride. Around and around the Cruiserweight Champion goes. I don't think either one of these men are going to be standing after this maneuver. Ricochet down on the canvas again. Tyler Bates trying to get his wits about him. Ricochet saving himself, rolling to the outside of the ring, trying to outrun the challenger right now. And that may be what Ricochet needs to get back into this contest. Grabs a hold of the challenger. Snap suplex there by the Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Look at this, Tyler Bate. Sneaky pinfall there. Oh my goodness, almost had him. A mere second away from a new Cruiserweight Champion. And Tyler Bate, the drop kick. Ricochet drop kick. And a hangman's neck breaker from the Cruiserweight Champion. Springboard, Phoenix Splash, champion into the cover. Tyler Bate gets the shoulder up again. What a Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Opening us up tonight at the All-Star kickoff. Recall me. Tyler Bate gets the shoulder up. You gotta be kidding me. Ricochet throwing that recall knee at the challenger, but Tyler Bate lives to fight another moment in our opening contest. Shoots Bate off into the corner. Tyler on the top rope. Ricochet, oh wait a minute. Ricochet back, double knees, and Tyler Bate maybe knocked out cold after that maneuver. They spoke too soon, there's a kick to Ricochet. Tyler Bate trying to save his Cruiserweight Championship hopes here. Big opportunity for Tyler Bate tonight into the cover. He goes with Ricochet again with a kick out. What is it gonna take to keep one of these men down? Bate going for the kick, Ricochet at the counter. Oh, what a knee by the Cruiserweight Champion. Tyler Bate is down and out. Oh no, Ricochet heading to the top rope. 6.30 on the Challenger. Into the cover. Ricochet moves past 166 days as your WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World. What a matchup. Tyler Bates stepping up in a huge way tonight. May have came up short, but everybody is going to remember the name of the mustache himself. I think it's safe to say we are looking at the king of the cruiserweights. We're back live here on the SmackDown All-Star Kickoff from the MGM Grand Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and former cruiserweight champion Drew Gulak is set for action here in Sin City. And the opponent, it is the arrival of the longest reigning NXT United Kingdom Champion for over 800 days. That man in the middle reigns supreme. And now, in their entirety, Fabian Eichner, Marcel Barthel, and Walter Imperium have arrived on Friday Night Smackdown. I can tell you right now, look out for this trio, because these three men, quite possibly the most dangerous trio to ever step foot out of NXT. The mat is sacred to these three gentlemen, some of the most pure wrestlers that this business has ever seen. Eichner and Barthel, former NXT Tag Team Champions. And as we mentioned, that man, the longest reigning NXT United Kingdom Champion in the history of the championship, Walter, going to be a force to be reckoned with here on Friday Night SmackDown. 
Drew Gulak has certainly got his hands full tonight, if ever. That's a dangerous trio. Imperium is in Vegas. And the Friday Night SmackDown All-Star kickoff set to roll on. Drew Gulak versus the debuting Walter. And it sounds like Sin City is in the corner of the ring general, the man who was United Kingdom champion for 870 days, Walter. Let's take nothing away from Drew Gulak, a former cruiserweight champion, a mat technician as well, a submission specialist is Drew Gulak. But certainly, when you match anybody up against Walter, I don't care who you are, you are going to be the underdog against the ring general himself. Did you hear that overhand shot followed by that throw? Imperium drafted to Friday Night SmackDown a couple of weeks ago, a part of the WWE draft, and arriving in their entirety tonight. We're getting our first look at Walter on the blue brand, and we still got to take a look at Marcel Barthel and Fabian Eichner in the coming weeks, as Walter is just using his size and strength to decimate the skull of Drew Gulak. Gulak may be dazed and confused and quite possibly knocked out cold in the middle of Sin City right now. Walter into the cover. And luckily, for Drew Gulak's sake, able to get his shoulder up, but he may just be delaying the inevitable. Look at the size of Walter. When he was on the independents, he was one of the most sought after free agents in the world. Dominated on the independent scene, has dominated NXT as well as NXT UK for the last several years. Match of the year candidates with Pete Dunne and Ilya Dragunov. He is a dangerous man. Wait a minute, look at this. The signature power bomb from the ring general. Did you see the force? He delivered on that maneuver and still beating down Drew Gulak just to make a statement. Walter into the cover. And you already had it written out. Walter wins his debut here on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, Drew Gulak tried to hang in there against the ring general, but nobody is surviving a powerbomb with that much authority. Here is your winner, Walter! Our first look at Imperium's Walter. And Imperium has arrived on Friday Night SmackDown. We are back inside the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it is time to crown a new WWE United States Champion. First up of the eight man, the almighty Bobby Lashley, who is gonna be hell bent on getting championship gold around his waist for the first time since April of this year. And as Lashley makes his way to the ring, we want to remind you of the breaking news from Raw Homecoming this past week. Live premiere event on the road to the Rumble, December 21st, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a special Saturday night's main event production from Raw and SmackDown. Can't wait to get to Saturday night's main event, but tonight, all-star kickoff in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are about to witness the eight-man over the top rope battle royal to crown the new United States champion. A championship that's been held by so many greats in this business, including Bobby Lashley, at several points in his career. A championship that has been held by John Cena, by Seth Rollins, two men who we will see later tonight. A title that has been held by the icon Sting. A championship that goes back to 1975 in history. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Lex Luger, Dustin Rhodes, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, Diamond Dallas Page, Goldberg, Brett the Hitman Hart, The Big Show. So many names over the years have held the prestigious United States Championship. And on a historic night on Friday Night SmackDown, 
a new holder is going to be added to that history-making list. And it could be Apollo Crews, who's a former United States champion as well. Well, this man knows a thing or two about Las Vegas and getting lucky, right? Happy Corbin, who lost to Dexter Loomis last week, but he's looking to bounce back a part of this eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. Happy Corbin, happy to be back from injury, happy to be drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, happy to be getting a United States Championship opportunity tonight. Hell, I'm sure win, win or lose for Happy Corbin. I think we know where we can find him on the Las Vegas Strip, make a little bit of money. That's Happy Corbin, right? One lucky, lucky guy. And the former United States champions in this matchup, including Corbin, just keep on coming. The charismatic enigma, the future Hall of Famer, Jeff Hardy enters the playing field. Jeff Hardy's held every championship there is to hold, including the World Heavyweight Championship that'll be decided later tonight at the All-Star Kickoff. And as Jeff Hardy makes his way to the ring, you gotta wonder, will Jeff Hardy be a member of the 30-man Royal Rumble match? It is a live premiere event coming up on New Year's Day, Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023 at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The road to WrestleMania begins at our next pay-per-view event, the Royal Rumble. Jeff Hardy with an opportunity to become the United States Champion tonight, but both Raw and SmackDown superstars gonna have the opportunity to battle for either the WWE or World Heavyweight Championships at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. January the 1st, we're kicking off the new year with the Royal Rumble event. Another former United States champion, the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. And after Ziggler's upsetting loss to Seth Rollins two weeks ago on SmackDown, that was for a chance to qualify for tonight's World Championship matchup, you gotta know Dolph Ziggler's motivated. Dolph Ziggler's yeah. focused on bouncing back and getting some championship gold around his waist. And hell, I'm sure after the post-match attack by Seth Rollins a number of weeks ago as well, Dolph Ziggler still has his minds on the visionary of the WWE. But Ziggler's got to be focused in on Las Vegas tonight. As we mentioned, another former United States champion looking to get that title around the waist yet again. Well, this man from NXT made his Friday Night SmackDown debut last week. He defeated Happy Corbin, Dexter Loomis. Absolutely earning this spot in the Battle Royal and a shot to hold championship gold for the very first time under the WWE umbrella. This guy is creepy. But he's laser focused. Somebody sent Dexter Lo Loomis to the poker table here in Vegas. Might be a good luck charm. Let's see if he can play that poker face to all these seven other men in this over-the-top rope Battle Royal long enough to win it. Nonetheless, Loomis is in. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Are we serious? Hello, I am Elias. We got a battle royal! Are we about to see a concert? Hey, somebody in the truck. And as the man who holds the power of the wind in his fist, I've got one question for everybody here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? We got a battle royal. Get to the ring, Elias. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank God. Well, Elias is in the ring. And the eighth and final participant to this over-the-top rope battle royal, Mustafa Ali, is in Sin City. Ali came up short to Bobby Roode last week on SmackDown for a shot to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship tonight. But Mustafa Ali's got the next best thing, and that's an opportunity to leave the All-Star kickoff, the brand new United States Champion. 
a championship that means a lot to hold to Mustafa Ali, a title that he could hold for the very first time in his WWE career. Well, here we go with your next championship being decided. The Battle Royal is underway here in Vegas. Eight men in the ring. Five former United States champions in there. Got to go over the top rope. Both feet landed on the floor to be eliminated in this matchup. Get a little preview of the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup coming up next month. Tonight's about the United States Championship. Mustafa Ali and Elias going at it. You see Happy Corbin and Dexter Loomis going at it. Those two had a matchup last week on SmackDown that was won by Dexter Loomis. I'm sure Corbin's looking to get a little payback as Elias trying to eliminate Ali. But Ali saving his chances. What about Bobby Lashley? Saw him in action two weeks ago here on SmackDown against Drew McIntyre in a World Championship qualifying matchup. One hell of a fight between the Scottish Psychopath and the Almighty One. McIntyre, of course, walked away with the victory. Lashley looking to bounce back tonight and leave Vegas the United States champion. Elise and Elias in the corner. Apollo Crews. Oh, I thought he was going for a powerbomb. Jeff Hardy. Hardy with the counter. Hurricane Rana and Hardy takes out Ali. Always interesting to see the casualties and when they're going to start dropping in these types of matchups. It's harder and harder. The later these matches goes on, but it's just as difficult in the opening moments when the ring is so crowded. You can't have your back turned to anybody, but unfortunately you can't help it in this match. And at any second, somebody can grab you and try to throw you over. And it's the dangers of a battle royal. This chaos is just ensuing in there right now. Fists are flying, bodies are flying. All for the chance to become the brand new WWE the United States Champion. And still to come tonight, the WWE, excuse me, the World Heavyweight Championship to be decided in a four-man elimination matchup between Robert Roode, Seth Rollins, John Cena, and Drew McIntyre. Plus the Prince Finn Balor set to take on the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Right now, the eight-man over the top rope battle royal on hand. Elias is eyeing up Happy Corbin. Elias eliminates Corbin. First casualty of the matchup, Happy Corbin. Not so lucky here tonight. Better try as luck as the poker table, because inside of the ring isn't going to be it. And I believe Elias just got eliminated as well. So we are down to six in this battle royal. Corbin and Elias heading back to the showers. Dexter Loomis, Mustafa Ali, Apollo Crews, Bobby Lashley, Jeff Hardy, Dolph Ziggler. The six men that currently remain in this matchup. Dolph Ziggler's got Dexter Loomis in a predicament. Unfortunately, not able to hold on to him. Down to five, or excuse me, six men just like that in this battle royal. Loomis with the DDT. A matchup that would be in the near future. Dexter Loomis versus Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship. Lashley went for a big boot. Dexter Loomis, oh, and an elbow. Dexter Loomis eyeing up Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews has been eliminated. Crews out of this matchup. The next casualty, we are down to five. Dexter Loomis with the elimination there, and Apollo Crews. Dexter Loomis has been eliminated. And there goes Loomis as Bobby Lashley eliminates Dexter. We are down to four men. Ali, Ziggler, Hardy, and Lashley. Jeff Hardy and Dolph Ziggler have had their battles in the past. Wait a minute, Ali throwing Lashley over. Not able to get him out of the ring, though. And Lashley delivers a deafening big boot to the chest of Ali. Jeff Hardy trying to take out the almighty one. Who's going to be the next to fall? Oh, and a double kick. I don't even think that was intentional. Lashley went for the big boot. Ziggler went for the super kick. Jeff Hardy ate both of them. I don't know how Jeff Hardy's even got his wits about him right now. Unintentional double team by Hardy and Lashley. Excuse me, Lashley and Ziggler on Hardy. Wait a minute, Ziggler over the top. There he goes. Jeff Hardy eliminates Dolph, and we are down to three. Hardy, Ali, and Lashley. One of these men is leaving Sin City, the new United States champion, and right now the almighty one is dominating the ring. There goes Jeff Hardy. No, Hardy holds on. Lashley trying to get him out of here. 
Now Ali gonna try his hand. And Bobby Lashley, oh, I think Lashley's gonna pick his spot. Trying to see if Ali can eliminate Jeff Hardy on his own first. Lashley's got a chance to sneak up on these guys, but obviously thinking different strategy. Oh, is Jeff Hardy able to bounce back? Jeff Hardy not gone yet. Three men still remain in this battle royal. A power bomb by Lashley. And a clothesline to Jeff Hardy. And once again, Lashley is ruling the square circle. Oh no. Oh, and there goes Hardy. Jeff Hardy thrusted over the top rope. Bobby Lashley, the power of the Almighty One, eliminates Hardy. And we are down to two. Bobby Lashley, Mustafa Ali for the United States Championship. Oh, Lashley was going for something there. Ali able to counter. Wait a minute. Look at this strength from Ali. Lays out Lashley. Used his own move against the Almighty One. Lashley's out of it. Ali muscling Bobby Lashley up. Lashley's all kinds of confused. Oh, wait a minute. How, no, Hurricane Rana. Ali wins. Ali wins the United States Championship. My goodness. Ali catching Bobby Lashley off the game. Hurricane Rana over the top rope. And for the first time in his career, Mustafa Ali is holding WWE gold. Ali leaves Vegas the new United States Champion. Well, I guess it wouldn't be the all-star kickoff without an appearance from WWE's A-list superstar. The Miz is in Las Vegas, and he's set for action here on Friday Night SmackDown. And what a night it's been already. Ricochet retains the Cruiserweight Championship over Tyler Bate in an exciting Cruiserweight matchup. Moments ago, Mustafa Ali outlasting seven other men, shocking the world, and winning the United States Championship for the very first time in his career. What about the debut of Imperium's Walter dominating Drew Gulak earlier tonight? But we're going to keep on keeping on. Here comes the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time. A man who has made history in this very building, Rey Mysterio. It was back in 1997, Halloween Havoc WCW. In this very building, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, Rey Mysterio put his mask on the line against the late great Hall of Famer Eddie Guerrero for the Cruiserweight Championship. An all-time classic, the WCW 1997 Match of the Year, a match that is still remembered to this very day. Rey Mysterio won the Cruiserweight Championship in this building all those years ago. And he's back inside the hallowed halls of the MGM Grand looking to make more history and get another win. Rey Mysterio versus The Miz keeping us rolling here on All-Star Kickoff. You remember just two weeks ago here on SmackDown, Rey Mysterio in action against Shelton Benjamin and Rey picked up the victory on that night. Let's so we'll see if Mysterio can keep his momentum going here on Friday Night SmackDown. As for The Miz, just looking to gain some momentum now a part of Friday Night SmackDown yet again. The A-list celebrity under the lights of the All-Star kickoff today as he sends Rey Mysterio over the top rope. Miz looking to get that W and make a name for himself all over again at this point in his career here on SmackDown. It's all about wins and losses as we talk about all the time here in the WWE. And with the Royal Rumble approaching on January 1st, the road to WrestleMania close to beginning. Everyone's looking to climb the ladder for opportunities here in the WWE. Miz picking up Rey Mysterio, making him eat the canvas for dinner. Still to come tonight, the World Heavyweight Championship going to be decided in a four-man elimination matchup. It'll feature Drew McIntyre, Robert Roode, Seth Rollins, and John Cena. What a springboard crossbody by Roy Ray. This is dazed. And wait a minute, Rey Mysterio. I think we know what's coming. Dial up the cell phones. We're in 619 tonight. Rey Mysterio hits the knees flush into the cover. One, two, Rey Mysterio wins in Sin City.
The momentum for the Master, the 619, keeps on moving up the ladder. A big win for Rey Mysterio, striking 619 in the face of The Miz, and another W for the legendary Luchador. Well, as the legendary cruiserweight Rey Mysterio continues to climb the ladder all over again, what is next for the master of the 619 on SmackDown? Well, the action continues here in the MGM Grand. We are set for a grudge match well over a month in the making between a prince and a king, Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura. Rick Boogs and A-Kid have been barred from ringside from this contest. It is going to be mano a mano. No outside interference. Just Finn and Shin tonight on SmackDown. Of course, this issue between Balor and Nakamura really dating back to Rick Boogs' debut in the WWE. Him getting in tangles. Nakamura and Boogs coming together, which led to an issue between Balor and Nakamura. A lot of those issues came to a head two weeks ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. Finn Balor and A-Kid, his protege, teamed up against Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. And in the midst of the tag team matchup, Balor was in control for his team, but you see Rick Boogs knocked off the apron by Finn. Finn taking his own eye off the game may have cost him as he missed the coup de grace. Nakamura delivered a flushing King Shasta in the ring, and Nakamura and Rick Boogs picked up the tag team victory over Balor and A-Kid. You remember back before Survivor Series on the final main event, Finn Balor and Nakamura, the last time they went one-on-one -on -one was on that night. Finn Balor picked up the victory. And of course, A-Kid and Rick Boogs were at ringside on that night. But now tonight, it's solely focused on the Prince and the King. Balor, after losing to Nakamura in the tag team match two weeks ago and also losing to John Cena just last week here on SmackDown for a spot in tonight's World Championship matchup, the Prince has got to be motivated. Looking for retribution and looking to climb back up the ladder here on Friday night. And as for Shinsuke Nakamura, he may have gotten that tag team pin over Finn Balor two weeks ago, but we know the King wants to right the wrong of the last time these two men went one-on-one -on, -one on main event. And now with more opportunities arising on Friday Night SmackDown with new champions being crowned tonight, the United States Championship now belongs to Mustafa Ali. The World Championship gonna be decided up next here on SmackDown. Wins and losses matter more than ever. When you want championship opportunities, you gotta get Ws inside this blue and white ring. And here comes the king of strong style. Nakamura is in Las Vegas. The former NXT champion, former Intercontinental champion, former United States champion. But tonight, none of the past accolades matter. Nakamura and Balor. It's all about getting the win over one another, proving who's the better competitor inside of the ring. And with the Royal Rumble on the horizon on January 1st, that'll kick off the road to WrestleMania. Every man's looking to build a little bit of momentum, heading into that 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble match. Moments away from crowning a new world champion between Rude McIntyre. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute here. Balor assaulting Nakamura before the referee can even enter the ring. Now the matchup's underway. Balor trying to get an upper hand on the King of Strong Style. Well, after everything that Balor's been through the last few weeks, a lot of aggression to take out for the Prince, attacking Nakamura during his entrance, but Shinsuke not going to stand for any of it. Nakamura not even worried about getting the jacket off. He wants his win back against Finn Balor from a number of weeks ago, and he ain't looking to leave Las Vegas with a loss. And he just fired up the King, assaulting him from behind there, but now Finn Balor back in it. These two men have had several battles over the years down in NXT and here in the WWE. But another recent issue arising between the Prince and the King. Who is the better man? We're going to find out tonight. Nakamura heading to the top rope, but Balor strikes him in the gut with a counter. Now continuing the assault on the King of Strong Style right now. Finn Balor taking it in here in Vegas. He's got Nakamura right where he wants him at the SmackDown All-Star kickoff. Dropping Nakamura on his head. 
What a night it's been. We want to thank everybody for tuning in to the live premiere of SmackDown, the all-star kickoff pay-per-view-like event. We're all homecoming this past week. Another success. So thank you for tuning into the YouTube channel to these live premieres. The next one will be on December the 21st for a special Saturday night's main event. It'll feature superstars from Raw and SmackDown. And of course, our next pay-per-view event, another live premiere, Sunday night, January the 1st, New Year's Day, 2023, the Royal Rumble. A lot of great stuff coming up here in the WWE. Balor with a Pele kick to Shinsuke Nakamura. Finn looking good over Nakamura. Like Finn or not, he's bringing the aggression tonight. We're going to get back on the right track after the recent losses. You remember at Survivor Series, Nakamura's on the winning team, along with Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne, as they defeated Sheamus, Apollo Crews, and Finn Balor on that night. So even though Balor got the win 24 hours, fri 24 hours prior, excuse me, three losses in a row for Balor here in the WWE. Balor in control of this matchup over Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura is down and out right now. Again, a kid, Finn Balor's apparent protege, as he has taken him under. And Rick Boog, Shinsuke Nakamura's tag team partner, barred from ringside tonight. All about Finn and Nakamura here on SmackDown. Balor sending Nakamura out of the ring, and Topek and Hilo over the top by the Prince. Like Finn or not, he's throwing caution in the wind, any means necessary to pick up the victory here on the All-Star Kickoff. Finn looking good, like him or not. And Nakamura is in trouble in this matchup right now. Nakamura eats the barricade, and I think Balor may be more than satisfied with a count out victory. We're talking about wins and losses, how much they matter around here. Balor doesn't care how he gets to his hand raised. He just wants to get his hand raised. Nakamura makes it in at the count of seven. Balor's right there with the swing blade to take out Shinsuke. This match has been all Finn Balor the last few minutes. And again, Nakamura gets dropped on his head. And you got to wonder if Balor attacking Nakamura before the opening bell really threw Shinsuke off his game. Balor obviously came in with a strategy and it clearly has to be working to his advantage as Nakamura just can't seem to get in control in this matchup. Balor continuing to fight. Nakamura's all kinds of hung up in his own pain right now and Balor drop kick to the side of the head. It was a few weeks ago that Balor hit that maneuver and then knocked Rick Boogs off the apron. It really cost Balor the opportunity to just close out the matchup. And Nakamura right there. Trying to bounce back. Trying to get in the driver's seat. Oh no. Finn is in trouble. Nakamura knocking him down to size. Delivering those strong style kicks to the chest. Going to knock the win out of any normal man. At one of the head just for good measures. Nakamura going for the kicks. Chasa Balor ducked it. Balor went for a clothesline I believe. Nakamura though. Able to get one on Balor. Nakamura almost closing out this matchup. Finn Balor able to avoid disaster. Oh, wait a minute here. Balor from behind. Doesn't care how he gets the pinfall. Just wants to get it. Nakamura able to push him off just at the last second. What a great matchup between Balor and Nakamura. Nakamura showing that heart. Showing that fight. The reason he is the king. And the reason he's a former champion around here. Nakamura down and out on the outside again. Balor's back in control. Nakamura showed some life, but Balor is fighting his match right now. And again, Nakamura gets sent into the barricade. Then Balor heading back into the ring. We talked about Balor doesn't care how he gets the victory. Nakamura there to meet him. You see Balor just already there waiting for him. Trying to take out the king by any means necessary. Another kick to the side of the head. How many of those can you take before you're simply lights out? Nakamura drifted into the corner. 
Shows some signs of life with the elbow. Misses for the kick, but Balor again with the Pele. Nakamura just cannot get in the driver's seat. It is now or never for the King of Strong Style to get back into this match. Come on, not again. Another drop kick to the side of the head. Balor is looking to scramble the eggs of Nakamura permanently here tonight. And oh no, got him hooked. Nakamura eats the canvas on the 1916. And that's got to do it. Balor into the cover. No, Nakamura survives. Shinsuke showing heart, showing fight. And Balor goes for the elbow drop, but Nakamura out of the way. Is this the opportunity? No, Balor lands on his feet. Is this the opportunity that Shinsuke needs? Surviving that onslaught of kicks by Finn Balor, dropping him on his chrome dome. But Balor again with the reversal, man. He is just in control of this match. Now heading up to the top rope. Coup de gras on Shinsuke Nakamura. And that may be all she wrote on this grudge matchup here tonight, and it is. Nakamura could not get going in this matchup. It really started with Finn attacking him before the bell, and ever since then, Balor wrestled his style match. He certainly put a beating on Nakamura tonight. When Nakamura finally gets his wits about him from all these shots to the head, I'm sure he ain't going to take kindly to this loss. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. Whether you like Finn Balor or not, he came in with aggression. He came in with a plan, with a strategy, and he executed it to absolute perfection. We know Nakamura is not going to stay down. We know Nakamura is going to come back for another fight. But tonight, Sin City, Las Vegas, December the 9th, 2022, Finn Balor is your victor on Friday Night SmackDown. Here's your next live premiere on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, a special Raw and SmackDown production of Saturday Night's main event, coming your way December the 21st at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And our next pay-per-view event is going to be on January 1st, 2023. We're kicking off the new year with the Royal Rumble. The road to WrestleMania begins Sunday night, January the 1st, New Year's Night. But ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. The MGM Grand, December the 9th, 2022, Friday Night SmackDown, All-Star Kickoff. And the World Heavyweight Championship is set to be decided. Your first challenger of four, a former United States Champion, a former WWE Tag Team Champion, and a former NXT Champion. One of the greatest champions in the history of the black and gold brand. But for the very first time tonight, the glorious Robert Roode competes for heavyweight championship gold in the WWE. Is tonight the glorious one's night in Las Vegas? All four of these men qualified the last few weeks on Friday Night SmackDown. As you see here, Bobby Roode defeated Mustafa Ali, the new United States champion. John Cena defeated Finn Balor. Seth Rollins with a win over Dolph Ziggler. And Drew McIntyre with a win over Bobby Lashley. That is how we got here. That is what has gone down in the World Heavyweight Championship qualifying series these last few weeks. But now all four men, after earning their spot, will enter these hallowed halls of MGM Grand in the four-man elimination matchup. Three men will fall, but one will leave with the big gold, the World Heavyweight Championship that has been contested for in this very building so many times throughout the years. You think in 1996, you think Hulk Hogan and Rowdy Roddy Piper, 1998, Goldberg versus Diamond Dallas Page in this very building. One year later, Goldberg versus the Icon Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship. Just a little bit of the history of that championship belt 
here in Las Vegas. But here comes competitor number two. A man who has been a WWE champion before. A man who once contested for the World Heavyweight Championship back in 2011. The Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. It has been well documented the rough year that Drew McIntyre has had in big match situations. He has failed to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship on multiple occasions. He failed to acquire the Intercontinental Championship on Monday Night Raw. He failed back in the month of May to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. But McIntyre, here on Friday Night SmackDown yet again, looking to right the wrongs of the lackluster 2022 on his own end. A new leash on life, a new leash on his career on the blue brand, and a new opportunity on the horizon. Is Drew McIntyre going to be leaving World Heavyweight Champion? Or will it be the one man in this matchup that has held the big gold belt before? The franchise is in the house. Back at Survivor Series in 2008, John Cena acquired the World Heavyweight Championship for the very first time, defeating Chris Jericho. Just a couple of months later at WrestleMania 25 in 2009, Cena decided the task once again by defeating Edge and The Big Show for another World Heavyweight Championship reign. Cena knows what it's like to hold the big gold classic, the championship that has been around for many decades in the NWA, in WCW, and in the WWE. Is John Cena gonna be getting his number 17 reign as a WWE World Champion here tonight? That is the question on everybody's mind. John Cena looking to make history in his own right, not just before winning the world title tonight at the All-Star Kickoff, but for acquiring number 17. Cena's been riding a high the last number of weeks, defeating Austin Theory in a last man standing match at Survivor Series, defeating Finn Balor last week on Raw, or excuse me, last week on SmackDown, and you remember the last Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series? Cena also defeated Bobby Lashley on that night. He's been on a roll as of late, but here comes the fourth and final participant in this matchup, the revolutionary, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins has kicked his former disciple Murphy to the curb yet again. He defeated Zolf Ziggler to punch his golden ticket to Las Vegas tonight. Rollins is all smiles. It's been four years since Seth Rollins, excuse me, has been a world champion here in the WWE. But it's December 9th, 2022. Going to be the night where Seth Rollins acquires World Championship gold yet again. Rollins has had a decorated career over the last decade in the WWE with Tag Team Championship wins, the United States Championship, Intercontinental title, the WWE Championship, of course. Mr. Money in the Bank at one point in time. A Royal Rumble match winner. But is Seth Rollins going to hold the World Heavyweight Championship for the very first time in his career. We are gonna get an answer to that question right here, right now. SmackDown All-Star Kickoff, MGM Grand, Las Vegas, Nevada, December 4th, 2022. Who is leaving Sin City with the gold? That is what is all on the line. The World Heavyweight Championship, Robert Roode, Drew McIntyre, John Cena, Seth Rollins. The bell has sounded and we are underway with our main event. Who is gonna get the upper hand in this matchup? Remember, this is an elimination style four-man matchup. So one fall to a finish is not gonna decide our champion tonight. We need three casualties, three bodies going down for one man to leave as the new World Heavyweight Champion. Cena and Robert Roode battling it out in the corner. 
Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre taking issue with each other on the other side. Who is going to be the face of the blue brand? Who is going to be the face of SmackDown as we head towards the Royal Rumble on January 1st and kick off the road to WrestleMania? That is the big question. What a night it has been here on the SmackDown All-Star kickoff in Las Vegas. Ricochet retains the Cruiserweight Championship in an absolute clinic against Tyler Bate. Wait a minute. Drew McIntyre looking to eliminate Seth Rollins here. Rollins to be the first casualty, not just yet. Also tonight we saw the debut of Imperium, and more specifically the man who is in action, the former NXT United Kingdom Champion Walter, defeating Drew Gulak in his debut tonight. In absolute impressive fashion. Rey Mysterio picking up a win over The Miz. Finn Balor moments ago picking up a win over Shinsuke Nakamura. And of course, a new United States champion was crowned here tonight as Mustafa Ali outlasting seven other men, along with Bobby Lashley as the final two. Ali leaving Las Vegas, the new WWE United States champion. Who is going to be the World Heavyweight Champion? Cena, Rude, Rollins, and McIntyre battling out to stake that very claim. Of course, no count outs and no disqualifications in this style match as well. Things are only going to be decided by a pinfall or a submission. As McIntyre got John Cena hoisted up in the air, slamming him down on the canvas. Now some new pairings in this matchup as McIntyre taking issue with John Cena. Rollins sending Robbie Roode out of the ring. And McIntyre now heads back towards Seth Rollins. McIntyre entering another big match situation this year. Does not want to come out on the losing end yet again. Bobby Roode, who has spent most of the year down in NXT, returned to the main roster a few weeks before Survivor Series, went one-on-one -on -one with Edge on Monday Night Raw. May have been a losing effort, but of course Bobby Roode earning his opportunity to be here on SmackDown tonight for the win over Ali last week in San Antonio. McIntyre and Rollins back in the ring as two bodies are laid out on the outside. Rollins, what a forearm to Drew McIntyre in the corner. And Cena going after McIntyre. Bobby Roode trying to get his hands on Rollins, but Rollins, you just see that rolling forearm on McIntyre. Knockout blow as Cena takes out Bobby Roode. Who is going to be the first elimination in our World Championship matchup? Main event of this live premiere. Of course, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, December the 21st, a special roll on SmackDown production of Saturday night's main event. Featuring superstars from Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Then, of course, we're kicking off the new year. Sunday night, January 1st, 2023. New Year's night with the Royal Rumble. We're going to kick off the road to WrestleMania. Can't wait to get to those two events. Can't wait to see what the conclusion of this one's going to be here in Las Vegas. Rollins beating down on McIntyre right now. You know, it might be smart in situations like this to possibly team up with some of your opponents. Trying to outcast somebody and make an elimination in this matchup. Partnerships never last, but in a situation like this, might be the best idea. Rollins going to the top rope, eyeing up McIntyre, but I think Cena took his man here. Rollins still coming for the top, dropping the knee on Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins throwing caution in the win for the chance to become the world champion tonight. For the last time Rollins held a world championship here in the WWE, 2019, when he was the universal champion on Monday Night Raw. Of course, that championship was unified earlier this year at the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight title. The big gold is back. We are continuing its lineage here tonight on SmackDown. And Cena muscling up Drew McIntyre. That's no easy task. McIntyre, obviously the biggest and strongest man in this matchup. But John Cena, no stranger to using his strength to his advantage. He's got McIntyre laid out in the middle of the ring. Cena going a little vintage here. Five knuckles shuffle by the franchise. And will that be your first elimination of the contest? Is McIntyre hitting the showers? Not just yet. 
Cena throwing one of his best shots in his arsenal at Drew McIntyre, but the Scottish psychopath lives to fight another moment in this four-man elimination matchup. Rollins trying to take it to McIntyre. McIntyre avoids disaster there. Muscle is up the Messiah, and the visionary hits the canvas. Back to our original pairings in the first part of this matchup. McIntyre and Rollins going at it. Cena and Bobby Roode going at it. Two singles matchups that I would love to see down the line here on SmackDown. John Cena grabbing a hold of Bobby Roode. Drew McIntyre setting his sights on the visionary here. All four men back inside the squared circle. Look at this. Robert Roode lays out John Cena, and we may have our first elimination in the franchise here, but Cena gets the shoulder up. Meanwhile, Rollins goes for a knee on McIntyre. He moves out of the way. Casualties left and right in this matchup. Gets, oh man, McIntyre. Claymore kick out of nowhere. Rollins is done. Rollins is done now. Seth Rollins survives. McIntyre hit that Claymore kick out of absolutely nowhere, but somehow Seth Rollins still in this World Championship matchup. McIntyre's days, Rollins is off to the corner. Here comes Seth from the top of the clothesline. You smell the sense of urgency in the visionary now after eating that Claymore kick. Moonsault into the pinfall. Referee a little bit out of position there. May have cost Rollins as McIntyre gets the shoulder up. Getting into deep waters in this contest, yet still no eliminations. Robert Roode. Sunset Flip didn't have the right positioning to pin Cena there, but a little bit of damage done by the Glorious One. As Rollins goes off the apron on McIntyre. And a brawl on the outside, brawl inside of the ring. Any means necessary to leave with the gold. Cena with the elbow to Roode. Roode with the block. Bobby Roode now grabs the hold. Cena with the counter. Back and forth reversals, and Cena with the drop kick to the glorious Robert Roode in the ring. Meanwhile, Rollins sending McIntyre into the apron on the outside, just trying to beat down on the Scottish psychopath. Brawl continues out there. Cena and Roode continuing their fight inside of the squared circle. Cena muscling up the glorious one, and a snake guy's in the corner on Roode. Follow that up with a five-knuckle shuffle. Maybe enough. Wait a minute, Cena going for the attitude adjustment, but Robert Roode with the counter. Cena was moments away from dropping Roode at the AA, but Roode able to get out of it at the last second. Glorious one saves his chances, at least for a moment. Seth Rollins back in. Caught Roode off guard while he had his back turned. Oh, no. The visionary hits the ropes. Curb stop. Rollins into the cover. One and has gone. Has been eliminated. Our first elimination of the contest, the glorious Robert Roode will not be leaving Las Vegas, Nevada as the World Heavyweight Champion. Rollins pins Roode, and we are down to three. Rollins out of the picture right now. John Cena taking the fight to Drew McIntyre. Roode is gone. Rollins is out. Cena, look at this. Could we get our second elimination here? Number two on the way. McIntyre muscles out of it. What a main event we are witnessing here tonight in Sin City in this epic live premiere of Friday Night SmackDown. Pay-per-view-like event with the All-Star kickoff. Cena's got McIntyre right where he wants him in there. Seth Rollins up on the outside, but Rollins in no rush to get back into the ring. You see him just watching the contest right now. He sees Cena working on McIntyre. Cena's got no idea. Meanwhile, Cena hitting the ropes for the second time in the matchup. This could spell the end for the Scottish psychopath. Five knuckle shuffle, Cena into the cover. Rollins is waiting in sight on the outside of the ring. McIntyre's gone. McIntyre's eliminated. Rollins trying to catch Cena off guard. Cena dodged it, and we are down to two men. The franchise and the visionary. John Cena versus Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. Not one, but two five-knuckle shuffles throughout this contest. Double knockout blows to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre joins Bobby Roode on the bench, and we are down to two.
Two men who've got a lot of history with each other battling over world championships here in the WWE. Reuniting that flame here tonight. Cena with the counter. Muscles up Rollins for a belly to belly. Will Cena be winning his 17th world championship in the WWE tonight? Or is Seth Rollins next in line for the championship gold? Got Cena on the top rope. Seth Rollins gonna meet him up there. Frankensteiner in the middle of MGM Grand. Cena's out. Rollins going back to the top rope. Picture perfect frog splash. Into the cover goes Rollins. Is that all she wrote? Cena gets the shoulder up. Rollins went high risk twice there off the Frankensteiner on the frog splash. Knows it's going to take more than enough to keep John Cena down. Now bringing Cena back up to the top rope. Rollins, any means necessary to leave Las Vegas with the big gold belt. Cena grabbing a hold. Now wait a minute, Rollins could have been going for that Falcon Arrow. Cena counters. Cena trying to avoid disaster there. Now the franchise from the top rope with a crossbody. Cena was in trouble. Seth could have been looking for that suplex Falcon Arrow combo. Cena saw it coming and was able to dodge it. Oh no, Seth Rollins grabbed a hold. Could have been going for a pedigree, possibly, but Cena powered out of it. Cena sees an opportunity. Pinfall scenario here, but Rollins gets the shoulder up again. What a back and forth between these two men battling over the World Heavyweight Championship here on the All-Star Kickoff. Seen in trouble. Oh no, Rollins. Vintage Rollins here. Super kick to the dome of the franchise player. Rollins isn't done. Swing blade to Cena. Seth is unloading on Cena right now. And I don't like where this is heading for John Cena's chances here tonight in Vegas. Rollins going all in with the curb stomp. And is that going to do it? The visionary. The revolutionary. Seth freaking Rollins. Like him or not, is leaving Las Vegas world heavyweight champion. Rollins eliminated Bobby Roode earlier in the contest. Cena got rid of McIntyre off two five-knuckle shuffles, but Seth Rollins goes all in and Here's gets the last winner. laugh tonight. And the new world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins! A pay-per-view-like edition of Friday Night SmackDown concludes with the visionary of the WWE leaving with the big gold world heavyweight championship. Thank you for tuning in to SmackDown's All-Star Kickoff. The road to the Royal Rumble has officially begun. Good night, everybody, from Las Vegas. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.